Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and also an update on our million dollar challenge, so please stay tuned. In the previous video, we provided a very important update for Tixamal NLST netlist. So please refer back to the previous video with regard to the important updates for netlist before we start today's. Uh, stock analysis, quick reminder of the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is to try to get 201 trades uh, with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses. So once you join us on the challenge, you'll get access to an exclusive in-depth strategy video, which explains the process step by step. You'll also be part of our growing Discord community, well in excess of 300 now, where people will be sharing due diligence, trading tips, research, buy alerts, etc. And in the Discord area, you'll be able to read our agreement, FAQs, chat and ask questions, and also get access to the stock spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is updated weekly with low and medium risk stocks, many of them uh, color coordinated with the uh, potential target buy prices in green and risky uh, buy in red. Uh, we use Google Finance formula for this and it is a live spreadsheet. So you will also be able to see our leaderboard to celebrate the success of the members taking part in this challenge. And uh, this is extremely successful so far and it's for motivational purposes. So uh, details in the description below. Join us on this journey. In today's video, we're going to be looking at MMAT and MMTLP. There has been an important update with regard to the special dividend news. So before we look at that, let's have a look at the chart today for Meta Materials, ticker symbol MMAT. So on the screen here, we can see it closed. I think it closed at $2.14, so around about level. Uh, but what's um, disappointing over the last few days, we have seen significant decline in the share price. And I think at one point today, uh, the stock was very oversold and uh, very close to going below $2. So from that time uh, where the RSI went very, very close to below 20 uh, we've seen a good sustained strong recovery back up so from that um, price close to two dollars it has come up quite significantly at two dollars and fifteen so we do need this to continue so now let's focus on the important developments with regard to the special dividend so on the screen here you'll be able to see uh, meta materials has provided an update this update is today january the 14th 2022 and the headline here is update on the special series a preferred stock dividend so let's delve a little bit deeper into this uh, breaking news and at the top we can see that the company has provided an update on the series a preferred stock dividend in relation to the oil and gas assets and the planned spin out so uh, again keyword there spin out of these assets to the company series a preferred stockholders so that's the first thing in the introduction and now let's go uh, further down we can see here meta has provided an update on the company's oil and gas asset operations they have indicated that four wells have been drilled in the ori grande project in 2021 to enable the company to hold the lease for sale or spin out so two keywords there sale or spin out so this drilling was required as part of the lease uh, we can also see here that the drilling operations on the four well sites were successfully completed. So they have complied with the requirements of the lease. The company believes that with this completion of the work for the four wells, Meta is now in compliance of all aspects of its lease obligations uh, in terms of the continuous drilling clause that is part of their lease uh, requirement. And obviously in the previous video, we covered that this uh, land is owned by the university and uh, in the Oregon Road project. So this has now been satisfied. Let's have a look at the final two sections uh, of this first part of the breaking news. So in the third paragraph down, we can see the company is now moving towards the next step in the spin out process for these assets. So the assets are oil and gas assets. Uh, the work includes but is not limited to formal transfer of the assets to oil coal holdings. So the company are still indicating there that uh, there is potential for uh, the assets not to go to oil co however i think um, um, in all likelihood that's not going to happen i do not believe there will be a cash dividend i, I believe that um, it will be transfer of assets to oil co so that i think that's almost certainly the case now so oil co we can see here is a newly formed wholly owned subsidiary of meta ensuring that the capital structure supports a spin out 
uh, making any necessary filings with the SEC. So Meta now has finalized permanent arrangements with a new management team for Oilco. So the team for Oilco, uh, the indication here is they're not going to be part of Meta Materials. Uh, and uh, the reason why is they are going to bring significant experience in oil and gas exploration, which I think George will not have. Uh, as well as specific experience in the Oro Grande region. The team is continuing to consult for oil coal regarding operations and structure of oil coal moving forward. So we do need gas specialists, we do need oil specialists, and uh, it would be interesting to find out who this team is. At the bottom, we can see in terms of the new management team for oil coal, they have been instrumental in ensuring uh, very aggressive drilling uh, schedule at, during the fourth quarter of 2021. This was met. And Greg McCabe, the chairman of the Board of Torchlight Energy Resources, has said here, I'm very pleased with this advice, council on operating guidance, the team have given Meta, and I hope to continue working with this team once the spin out has been finalized. So certainly a uh, very, very strong su uh, suggestion here that the spin out is going to be uh, the final outcome. I think that's more or less uh, a done deal. Um, so let's have a look at the final part of this breaking news now. So in this final section at the top here, we can see that Meta currently plans to complete the spin out of Oilco as quickly as it can with a target of March 2022. So I think they're going for the final most possible date of the first quarter 2022, which is what was promised. So that is March, uh, subject to compliance with all legal requirements and process approvals by all involved parties. The com company's objective has been and remains to ensure the intrinsic value of these assets is maintained for the benefit of Series A preferred stockholders of Meta and that the assets are transferred as rapidly as possible to the Series A preferred stockholders. So overall, where does that leave us as holders of uh, shares in MMTLP, the special preference share? I think uh, the situation now is I don't think uh, we're going to receive a cash dividend, which is not great news. I think the conversion of shares in MMTLP will be converted to Oilco. So Oilco, I believe, is most likely going to be trading on the OTC. Uh, however, if it's a, a private company, it needs to be completely cut off from Meta. So I do think that's unlikely. Uh, so it's going to be a, a separate ticker. And again, we will have to see what the ticker is for the new company. So what's the likely outcome both in the short term and in the long term? I think in the short term, once the shares get transferred to Oilco, I do unfortunately think there will be a quite a significant sell-off. Uh, this is going to lead to significant decline in the share price. However, I think if that does happen, it could represent a good buying opportunity for people looking to get the shares fairly cheap. Long term, I think uh, the potential of Oilco with the assets, with the valuable oil and the gas in the land, uh, I think the potential long term is going to be huge. I also think if, if we have a look at the uh, increase in the price of oil and the gas that is currently happening, I think uh, the company certainly has uh, great potential going forward long term. And let's now finish off by having a look at the price of oil. So we can see here, uh, latest news from oilprice.com. Uh, the oil is set for the longest weekly gain streak since October. So Unfortunately, this is not great news because it looks unlikely that the oil and gas are being sold. If they were sold, I think if we look at all the dividend calculations, then certainly we would have been in line for an exceptionally good premium payout. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be the case. However, long term, the potential for oil co uh, as an independent company is still going to be uh, good if the price of oil continues to go up and the price of gas continues to grow up. And finally, I'd like to see if George has uh, provided a statement with regard to the special dividend. Unfortunately, he hasn't. His last tweet here is um, at the time of editing, January the 12th, where he said, Thank you, Photonics Media, for the interview and excellent editorial on optical applications of metamaterials, the challenges and the opportunities. Hopefully, George follows up very, very quickly with an update on, um, in terms of social media on his position and a statement with regard to what is happening with regard to the special dividend and uh, there is some form of positive communication. And finally, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.